Hi friends, as we grapple with the COVID-19 pandemic, mothers are really concerned, you know, how they can help their kids deal with the pandemic, how they can protect them. And there's so many questions in our minds. Joining us to talk about this is Farul Ori. She's the chief editor of Momspresso, which is a platform. It's a content platform. In fact, India's largest content platform and it has over 30 million users. So Farul, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks so much, Ambika. Thank you for having me here. You know, uh, you know, there's so many questions as mothers, we tend to worry, you know, how in this current situation, the way things are, it's so unprecedented, you know, how to deal with the situation. What are the kinds of fears which you see on your platform? What are, what are mothers really expressing, you know, whether it's how do they pass their kids, you know, with the screen time, and especially that was in the first wave, but now it's a little more serious how to deal with death, grief. So what are those questions which you really see uh, on your platform? You know, that's a very interesting question because the kind of fears and the conversations have changed quite dramatically and drastically over the last one year. So last year, I would say the biggest worry was how to pass time, how to entertain children, um, how to make the most of my family life, you know, now that everybody is together, how to maintain that work-life balance. For moms, that was the biggest uh, headache with everyone at home. And... Uh, in this year, this year in 2021, it's drastically different. Uh, the serious fears of life and death have come about, you know, with almost every household having been through so, so much turmoil, loss and grief. So we have a COVID tracker. In fact, we've been keeping track since last year. And, you know, I can just tell you that uh, around 60% of working moms last year were maintaining a balance, worried about maintaining that balance between chores and office work. Online behavior also reflected their state of mind with, you know, typically the kind of content being consumed was recipes, food videos, entertainment, art and craft ideas for kids and games and all. This year, the top five worry areas that we have mapped have been ensuring that my kids don't fall sick, first of all. Then, of course, you've been worried about the, the state and the country, you know, the rising numbers of COVID cases next door. We have to ensure that the family is eating healthy. That whole nutrition and immunity bit has been overridingly important for moms. That sanitizing bit, keeping everything sanitized, every single thing that comes from outside, that's been a huge worry area. And of course, you know, this, this, the brief period that we have where there was terrible shortage of everything, medicines, oxygen, whatever it was, equipment. And, you know, so on the one hand, you're worried about all of those things. You want, on the other hand, you're keeping your house going. So for sure, even if you look at the blogs that we've received, uh, ours is a 95% user-generated content platform. And the kind of blogs we're uh, receiving, you know, a lot of people have talked about their own experiences, very heart-wrenching experiences of lo loss, of suffering, of themselves going through, you know, for a mother or for four-year-old to be isolated from a child for two weeks yes. is just absolutely no easy task. So we've had a lot of those stories coming in also. And uh, many profound thoughts, a lot of introspection, I would say, uh, about how we used to pay, you know, place so much emphasis on trivial things, which just don't seem important any longer. So yeah, a lot of introspection also has happened.